Now question number three. Distinguish the following triangle on the basis of their sides and angle. This time you have to say on the basis of sides and on the basis of angle also. Can you say? You can see this. All the sides are equal and all the angles are less than ninety degree. So it is equilateral triangle and also it is acute angle triangle. So both you have to write. Tell me this. All the sides are different, but one of the angle is ninety degree. So it is right angle triangle, but also it is an scalen triangle. It is a scalen triangle. So scalen triangle and right angle triangle both you have to write because on the basis of sides as well as angle. Similarly, these questions I am leaving to you for you. You have to do this. Okay. Now question number four. Find Z in the following angles triangles. You have to see this. So question number four is find Z in the following triangle. You have to find Z here. So you know what this is exterior angle, and as I have told you, exterior angle is equal to sum of the two opposite interior angle. So one hundred ten degree is equal to fifty degree plus Z. Okay, you have to solve it like this. Fifty degree plus Z is equal to one hundred ten. That is exterior angle property. So you can find out the Z. This fifty will come this side. One hundred ten minus fifty that is equal to sixty degree. Okay, but one of more pro one uh, one of the more important property of uh, this exterior angle and interior angle uh, I forgot to explain you. Just see here. Suppose this is a triangle and this is exterior angle and this one is interior angle. Okay, so this is a straight line. So this together, if two angles we will take together, this together will be equal to 180 degree straight angle. So always one of the exterior angle and interior angle will equal to 180 degree. So exterior angle plus just beside it interior angle will be equal to 100. 80 degree this is given in your book you can see this figure angle acd plus angle acb the sum of this two angle this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degree always and this exterior angle this property i have explained you that is exterior angle is equal to sum of the two opposite interior angle and one more property it is given that This angle plus this angle is always 180 degree. Why? Because it is a straight line. Okay. So let's see question number four, second one, B number. This angle is given. You have to find out this angle. Very simple. Z plus 130 will be equal to 180. Because now only I have explained you exterior angle plus interior angle is equal to 180 degree. So Z plus 130 degree is equal to 180 degree. So Z value you can simply find out minus one thirty, that is equal to fifty degree. This is fifty. Got it? Now this two question students you have to do by yourself. This is your homework. If not, then if you will not be able to solve, then only I will explain you. But you have to try it. Now see question number five. In this triangle figure, AD is the altitude. Or perpendicular line, okay? And AE is me median means A is passing through this. E is the midpoint. Midpoint means BE will be equal to EC, okay? And you have to say that whether BD is equal to DC. BD equal to DC? No, because BE equal to EC, not BD equals to DC. Because E is the midpoint, so you will write no. For this, you will write no. BE will be equal to EC as E is the mid point. Okay. Now, which among AB, AE, AD, and AC? AB, AE, AD, and AC. From this four line, which is the shortest line? So always remember that perpendicular is the shortest line, students. So AD will be the shortest line. You will write AD is the shortest line. Can you do this question? So this exercise you have to complete. Next day we will start the new.